Welcome! I'm Mitz Piano, and you're watching Super Mario The Empire Strikes Back. Or perhaps that should be the Koopa Kingdom. I'm not actually sure what Bowser's Empire is called. Okay. Oop. Letter. It's the peach letter. It's the five up. I'll take it. Okay, so... I think for star number 64, we are just contractually obligated to get it from the Mario 64 galaxy, because, I mean, really... Silver Stars in the Want Fortress. Now, Silver Stars first appeared in the DS version of Mario 64. And as far as I know, there were none in Womp's Fortress. So, this is pretty much just new. Hey! Hey, Stash Man, thanks to you, this place is peaceful again. I've scattered some Silver Stars around here for you. Go ahead and grab them. Well, okay, good to know this is your fault, Pink Bob-omb. Um, in Mario 64, it was red coins. Eight red coins to get a star. Something which does appear in other Mario games, just not this. Also, I appreciate that we get Cloud here. It looks like we're gonna need it to get some of these silver stars. Slipper stars. Alright, alright. You know, I know I can bank with this cloud. Guess we really are going all over the fortress. Oh, that again. Yeah, we'll try that again. Yeah, hey, Stash Man. We're gonna miss that. Because I did that turn wrong. Yep. What else is new? Anyway, I want to see what you have to say. There was the Silver Star over there on that cloud. What? Don't look at me like that. I didn't put it there. Sure you didn't. Anyway, I already have it. Is there a Silver Star up here? No. Then where could the last two be? Nah. Forgot the touch water loose clouds. Wanna get more star bits too, because we still need that 1800, and I'm not even sure how close we are, but we are very far away. Okay, well, there's plants over there, but we can't walk on them without our own cloud. You know, Cloud is nice, but it's not quite as nice as the Wing Cat from Mario 64. Um, a power-up which did not appear in Wops Fortress, but appeared in a lot of other levels, and basically let you do... Um... Blizzard style gliding, but without the motion controls. Or I don't know how else to put it. Like, it's listed as flight, but it's not really true flight, it's a glide. You can't really gain much vertical distance from it. Oh, yeah, and it also let you do a triple jump from a standstill. And I'm still not really sure why... You have to be running to triple jump in every case except if you have a wing cap. Yeah. 
But the reason it did that was because you need a triple jump to take off. And go into flight mode. Either a triple jump or a cannon. Anyway, Stargat. And we're like right in the place. Once again, pretty easy start, but like, this is a throwback to a pretty easy Mario 64 course, so it's understandable. Star number Super Mario 64. Alright, I want to take a look at the star chart. I'm not doing Lava World because, again, that star is Howl. Let's see. Oh, we're missing a lot in World 4. We could do the second star in Flip Spill, Starshine Beach, or Chomp Works. Could do Spooky Halls. Trying to avoid comments if I can. Yeah, okay, seems like World 3 or World 4. Let's go to 4. Hmm. Let's hit the beach again. Because why not? Mario needs a vacation. And we need to climb a cloudy tower. More cloud stuff, huh? Well, honestly, that doesn't look hard to climb at all. Yes. I think I'm pretty sure I climbed that tower when I got the Silver Stars here. We're holding our strongest Pianta tournament, so everyone is busy looking burly. Oh no, are these going to be Chucksters? Evo! Yes, they are! Okay, so that's the gimmick here. Okay, so if you don't know what I mean by Chuckster, well, it should be pretty obvious, but... In Mario Sunshine, there was a very weird challenge room full of piantas that throw you, and they all say, I'm a chuckster. So yeah, let's do this. Are you a chuckster? I opened up my own leaf wrap shop. Today's the grand opening, so feel free to ride all you want. At least it's not a lava boat. Makes me think of all the boating I've been doing in Tears of the Kingdom. But Tears of the Kingdom boating is... Basically, you just get a raft or a piece of ice and then... Uh, um, what's it? A fan and go flying. You see something sparkling way up there in the clouds? Okay, so I need cloud. I need maybe you can throw me up there. Not quite. Okay, so I need to get like well how can I get cloud? Because there's water here. And if you touch water and you lose cloud, so okay, there's something I'm missing. Maybe these checksters will give me an answer. Okay, I feel like if there's two Piantas trying to throw me here, whatever is in this is important. And it is. It's not all that Maybe we 
need the leaf turn for something. Maybe we need to activate those water cannons. Cause like there's one here that's functional. Okay, come on, be better at timing, Disney. There we go. This takes me to nowhere significant. What else is now? That tower is finally finished, but I hear the entrance is at the bottom of the ocean of all places. That sounds like where we're gonna need to go then. We didn't really do anything with that tower, right? Wait, aren't those the ghost spike guys from Spooky Moon Galaxy? I can't believe this ocean is haunted. Okay, this I'm guessing activates the bubble cannons. No, it got us cloud. Oh, yes, it got us cloud and activated the bubble cannons. Okay, so now it's going to be a challenge of, this is what the leaf craft is for. Okay, okay. Everything is coming together. We leaf craft over to the clouds, we jump to the clouds, and we climb the climbing tower and get the stuff. Now it all makes sense. Blah! What was that? I actually am glad I have a boat. Once again, this galaxy has the most relaxing atmosphere, even if this is technically a challenge, because we need to get Cloud Mario over to... Um, uh, Cloudy Place. But without touching the water. You know, it's kind of weird that Cloud Mario loses Cloud when he touches water, because clouds are made of water. Anyway, we got it. There's nothing that true this bag flipping cannot solve. Wait, did we get a Pianta to board our ship? Star number 65. Oh, comment on Mario 64 Galaxy. We might have to check that out tomorrow. Got yourself a pretty cool cloud thingy there. Looks like some fun. Try to stay grounded, har har. Wait, we got another cloud flower for the actual ship and not just the power museum? Power up museum? Cool. So I'm sure this is used for some sort of secret. Yeah, hold on, I saw clouds back there. While we're here, I guess we can deposit our star pits. Six ten, so like we're a third of the way there. 
now we're seven eighteenths of the way there. One up. Is that all that's up here? Yeah, well, it's still here. Okay, so back to world six, because I think we can get past that 65 star barrier now. Get one step closer to final Bowser. Okay, we have reached the battle belt. Pumpkinhead Galaxy. The Mini Planet Mega Run. So if I recall, the reason this is called Battle Belt is because it's a combat challenge. We're gonna be jumping through a lot of smaller worlds. Yes. As Luigi, apparently. Hey. And killing all the enemies on them. Anyway, sure, yes. time to show off your combat prowess, Luigi. Now it is worth noting that the name Luigi is actually derived from Ludwig, and it means Great Warrior, so... Time to put that name to the test! Whoa! You made it all the way here! You know the only way through is to defeat every enemy, right? So yeah, combat challenge. So, we gotta get rid of these guys. Die. We also gotta get our medal without lava bouncing. Probably gonna need every hit point we can get. Well, I guess that depends on what exactly we'll have to fight here. Okay, you guys, I need fire. This is fire. I still think Luigi should be throwing green fireballs, but what do I know? Because I know he does that in Smash, I know he does that in Mario Kart, I'm pretty sure he does that in at least one actual Mario game, too. Just not this one. Ooh, yes, please. Okay, having fire for that made things a lot easier. I appreciate it. Why is Pink Toad crying in their ship? Like, you're fine. You have at long last mutinied against the captain, I can only assume. Set out on your own journey across the universe. Okay, this is why it's a pumpkin head planet. Well, I remember how to deal with you. This is basically like those little bonus round areas, except not timed and therefore way easier. I wonder if I'm gonna make that that. But I mean, like... Um, I'm still at full health. Underwater enemies? Okay, underwater ghosts, I remember. Like from a shell control them. So. Ow. And they say ghosts don't die. Uh, probably gonna need that lunch star to get out of here. Well, then I bet I could have wall jumped that. Not really that inclined to try, though. I uh, can't take the shopper mode because. Oh, there's Captain's 
chip, okay. There's a coin luma here, too. Yeah, how many do you need? 20. Okay, I do not have 20 coins. I like this little hexagon. I don't even know what kind of shape this is, but it is clearly a shape. Planet. Anyway, one coin short, so tough luck. These guys, man, we haven't seen them since Major Burrows. Ah, uh, good thing I still remember how to kill them. Gravity guys from the Gravity Galaxies. I don't know what their actual name is, but I know they were in Right Side Down and Upside Dizzy. And basically we are just in Upside Dizzy again, complete with a block gravity flip. Totally kind of wall jump that. Alright, last wave, silver chomps. But I don't have a star level. Also, I did not know silver chomps could actually hurt you. Bleh. Dead. Well, I'm glad checkpoints exist. Still not using your services because I need to conserve star bits. Also, we are definitely not getting the coin Luna now. Die. Dead. I think the reason the star bit lumas were changed to coin lumas is because you keep star bits if you die, you don't keep coins. So basically, you have to do everything in one life, and still make sure you have enough coins. But that's a challenge we can worry about later, probably in post-game. Because honestly, Mario Galaxy 1, I saved a lot of the hidden stars for post-game 2. Some of them because I knew they were going to be trouble, but others just because I was too busy doing non-hidden stars. We'll see if that trend continues. So far it is, and like, we are honestly very close to endgame. Okay, one down. Yeah, so like, um, Blank Chomps don't follow you, Silver Chomps do, so that's why these ones are silver, I think. Makes them easier to target, though. A lot easier. It is a good harvest of Star Bits, too. Star number 66, metal number 39, and the ghost has appeared.
Oh, hey, another letter for Luigi. Reese, Reese, showdown at Fleet Flight Galaxy. Come on, come on, it's on. No way am I doing that before I beat the game. Absolutely not. Fleet Flight Galaxy terrorized me. Also, we're done for today anyway. 